So yeah, that's 95% of the population that Warren Buffett, Tim Turner, and Oprah Winfrey want gone. Yeah, let's vote her in president. She's a fucking billionaire. Do you know what she also said on recording? She also said that anyone with racist views, and I'm sorry, I hate racists. I have a black nephew, I have a, I have a black um, brother-in-law. I don't hate people that are of a different color. First of all, they weren't born into that color. Race means nothing, absolutely. You're born a certain way. You have no fucking control about that. It's not like you can say you're a racist. Yeah, I'll hate that person because that person has had life to fucking figure out what the fuck they feel about a certain race. And then they portray it on that person. And half the time they're biased as to why the fuck they're racist because they only seen a certain portion or they weren't, they weren't raised into anything. They don't know. We're all the same race. We're humans, aren't we? Aren't we? What the fuck is black, white, Asian? What is all this bullshit? We're all one race. We're human, for real. So they want to get rid of... uh, So Tim Turner wants to get rid of 95% of American population. They want it to go to 250 million. That's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Oprah Winfrey Network. What what is that? What is it? OWN? What is that reverse? Because as above, so below is what is what the Satanists believe, right? As above, so below. So what it, what does Oprah Winfrey Network spell backwards? No. NWO, New World Order. Thank you. Thank you. This bitch is a fucking globalist, bro. Y'all better not go to the booth and vote this bitch in. I'm, sell, I'm telling y'all. She might seem nice, and I, goddamn, I have a soft spot in my heart for her. But since I've woken up, I don't. I don't. Because it's just a... All it is... Uh, the whole thing's a fucking play at us. That's all it is. And they fucking lost. They stole the election last year so hard. And the Alabama election right now has fraud in voting in it. And they're investigating that shit right now. There's no way a Democrat is the senator of fucking Alabama right now. There ain't no way. And it's funny because who who's our Attorney General? Jeff Sessions. I hate Jeff Sessions right now. He's not doing anything I want him to do. He's uh, To me, he's a globalist. I'm sorry. He's not doing shit that I want him to do right now. And then what? So, like, they took Jeff Sessions out, and then they put a Democrat in Alabama? A fucking Alabama senator that's a Democrat. Makes no goddamn sense whatsoever. Niggers be rising up. Excuse me? Uh, Negroes? Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. I don't know who the... I'm just... He's fucking drunk. Don't listen to this fucking racist motherfucker. He's from Maryland. I don't know why the fuck he's talking like that. But, all right, so... Yeah, so that don't make fucking sense whatsoever. This motherfucker's... This motherfucker's talking all this shit about how she wants to raise minimum wage to $15 an hour. You know what that does to small business? What does that do to small business? It kills them. If you had a small business, you had five employees, and you got to pay them $15 an hour to do some stupid shit like put toast or bagels in a goddamn oven, you'd have to fire them. You couldn't pay them, especially with the ACA, Obamacare, where if you have over 10 employees at, at, at your place of business, you have to support health care. You have to give them health care. You, know? you have to do it. Unconstitutional, not right. Thank God Obama, st- or I'm s- sorry. Fuck Obama. Thank God Trump strike that down. So you don't got to do that no more. But um, this is what happened in Ontario when um, they hiked minimum wages. I can, already tell you in, I can already tell you what happened in Oregon. About 2% of the population of the city lost their small businesses when they hiked the... Uh, actually, it was probably more than that. It was probably about 5%. 5% of just the small county actually lost their businesses people couldn't afford to pay the democrats don't like small business they like big corporation handouts they like um pay for play you know you pay me why do you think the clinton foundation dried the fuck up dried right up right right after he won whoa ain't nobody giving you money no more to do good things quote unquote good things if you're doing good things for people then people will continue to pay you right wouldn't they new zealand paid Australia paid a shitload of money. <laughs> Australia is just like the UK right now. They're uh, fucking. You can get in trouble online if you say something wrong on Facebook. Cops are at your house. Sorry, you depicted Muslims in a bad way. You off to jail. No, that ain't happening here in America. I'm sorry. You know how close we were to getting our guns taken away. I'm not kidding. Close. So minimum wage hikes and the inevitable, inevitable job losses that result from them are a consistent topic of the conversation for us. Here are just a couple of recent examples. Seattle, minimum wage hikes, crushing the poor. 
6,700 jobs lost. I thought it was good. It was great for the lower class, right? Annual wages down by $1,500. UOFW study. Huh. Study finds higher minimum wages bring crushing job losses for female and minority workers. Oh, I thought they loved the females and the minorities. Oh, I guess not. I guess, you know, you know, everybody knows anything they talk about, it's the reverse. If the Russians hacked the election, then they were involved with the Russians. Look at Uranium One. Hillary aboard through Cepheus, which Hillary was on top of. She had to sign off on it. Sold 20% of our nuclear uranium to Russia. Everybody on the TV that I watch do these interviews and they say, oh, it never left our country. Yes, it actually did. And they're like, oh, it's illegal for it to leave our country. Sorry, it did. It went to Canada, okay? We don't have nuclear uranium. We don't have that. We, we're not nuclear uranium rich, all right? Usually we have to import it. We had this little bit of amount. It's currently involved in the Russians. The Russians own this. And this is out of the western side of the America. So the Russians own a nuclear uranium site on the western side. Tony Podesta? Yeah, I haven't heard from him on fucking um, Twitter. Hillary Clinton? I saw a picture from her from the UK that she just posted. It was like five months ago. Or no, I'm sorry, not five months ago. It was like five... Shit, it was like a couple months ago. I don't know. But um, hopefully those boots they got on their fucking ankles are all tracking devices. And uh, just like the Awan brothers, who was with Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who sold all our information out and then tried to flee to Pakistan, which we caught. We caught one of the Awan brothers. And uh, I think he ratted. I think he ratted. And just like Huma Abedin, who, uh, Anthony Weiner, who texted his dick to a fucking 15-year-old girl. He's in prison right now for about a year, a little over a year. Um, Huma Abedin, I believe Huma Abedin had um, a lot of shit on the Clintons because everybody says that that's Clinton's girlfriend. That's, that's, Debbie, uh, or that's, that's Hillary Clinton's girlfriend. Like, they fucked with each other and shit. I believe that. And she, it, it was actually labeled on her computer when the FBI came <laughs> into her house. It was actually, shh, quiet. It was actually labeled insurance. It was labeled insurance. So that was insurance against the Clintons. That if she ever gotten caught with, like, or anything, she could fucking bring the Clintons down. And that's a good thing. But, I don't know, this whole minimum wage thing, you know how it ends. I don't even need to read this to you. No amount of empirical evidence or common sense, for that matter, will ever be sufficient to convenience left-leaning politicians that basic economic concepts governing the relationship between supply and demand also apply to the market for labor. No. In the mind of politicians, every business ever created is an evil corporation owned by exclusively millionaires, billionaires, private jet owners. That's what the, all the socialists think, right? All the Marxists who are an infinite profits and will casually accept whatever minimum wage hikes or tax increases. I don't even have to read this to you guys. You guys already know. Raising minimum wage is not a great thing. It's not great. You, you can't grandstand on it. It doesn't work, all right? So I'll leave you guys with that. I love y'all. Thank y'all. This has been Born a Hawkeye. Corey, I'm out.